99.3 Nigeria Info. Good morning to you, Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, welcome to Daily Today, the second part. It's 7.31 from our studio. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm Sheriff Quadri. And it's good to have my twin brother back on the beat. Uh, it's good to be back. Mr. Sheriff Quadri. As a name, as a title change from Mr. to No, no, no. It's yes, Mr. Simply Mr. Yeah. Okay, it's good to have And um, this is my first since um, Sankore died. Um, yeah. I, I thought his photograph. Was yes, yeah. yes. I, I never met him, but I listened yeah, to that's, him. That's, that's it. That, that's him. And um, we dedicate uh, today's program, this particular program, to his memory. Um, once in a while, you have flashes of people like this. Yeah. Uh, you know, but uh, they never really appreciated until when history is being told much, much later. All of you who are criticizing me, abusing me, maybe it's 20 years after I'm dead. Yeah. Maybe I would have even come back in another form. Mm. If you die as a human being, do you come back as a human being? What are you asking me now? I'm supposed to know that. You went to I haven't tried. I have... <laughs> let, us, let us use it as an experiment. No. <laughs> I haven't tried. And by the way, I saw a video of a young man who yes. looked like, uh, you know, Benga... What's that? His name again. Benga Deboye. Yes. A young man looked like very much like Benga Deboye and he speaks like him. He, you know, has all his mannerisms and... He was saying that he was being Adibui, that he's reincarnated, he's, he's re, he has reincarnated and everything and everything. I was like, this one is for himself. How can you even know, you know that? Say, you know, person. my own spirit was with both spirits. We caught two people, two black people doing what they should not be doing at night. <laughs> if I were to come back, I, I, if, if he branches in that direction, I say, oh, well, flip, flip to the right. <laughs> Go and check your Google Maps. <laughs> And it's nice to have you back. <laughs> it's good to be back. Lagos, you can watch us live on Facebook and on YouTube. Nigeria Info 99.3 is how um, you can watch us on Facebook and on YouTube. Let's start with this very funny, extremely hilarious story. Uh, it's on page um, hilarious and, and quite, uh, quite unfortunate as and well. Ex extremely embarrassing. Embarrassing, yes, ah. yes. It's on page 10 of the Vanguard newspaper. Or oh, your invasion. Yoruba Nation sponsors promise to end my hunger. Female suspect. You know, I have my favorite uh, saying. that mm -hmm. You always say that. I always say that. Now, the person who started all this apparently is not in the country. I doubt if these people, look at them here. Mm. I doubt if they know that uh, the, the penalty for treason is death. It's death. It could be life imprisonment at the discretion of, but it is death. This is a reflection of the kind of people that we are. Mm. A lot of us act before we think. I'm embarrassed to find that the university lecturer was amongst these people. Now, let's get it clear. There is nothing bad in having an aspiration you want to lead your people to a better life. But that is where your freedom ends. That is where your freedom ends. You can, you can, you can espouse it. You can, but that if it goes further than that, it gradually and you don't follow the laid down procedure, it gradually becomes treason. Those who had been advocating all this before them, we know, to a large extent, a lot of them want to go on the path of Tompolo in the Niger Delta. It's a business, and some of my friends, I, I must confess that I've had. Friends, especially in the diaspora, who at one time said, Yes, Jimmy, oh, yeah, guys, oh, yeah, guys, we should do this and do that. I said, Me, I'm not going anywhere. Hmm. If any, let us take it issue by issue. If there is any set of people in Nigeria that have benefited from this country since independence, it's the Yorubas, even though the North has always, have always been in power. If you take a trajectory of the industrial development, in law, in this, in that, generally, in the arts, music. Face it, they are blessed people. The bottom problem, the bottom line of their problem is that the, the older ones never hold out for the younger ones and guide them accordingly. They watch them go astray. And it's a trait, you know, that must be corrected. Otherwise, this shouldn't have happened. This uh, lady who, who claims... You see, we take all these things. Again, now is the time for us to, when people make certain claims, think deeply. 
somebody comes up and says he has a title of Yoruba land, is it anywhere called Yoruba land? The answer is no. What you had before was Ilef, uh, Ilecha, this one. But you, so if somebody ever comes up and tells you that I have a title, something, something of Yoruba land, I expect elders to stand up immediately and tell him that no, that cannot be. Because Abiola's son, this Odijiri Abiola claims is Abiola's wife. Abiola's son says he doesn't know her. Oh. Yes. He, sa he says, Abiola's son says that a woman connected with his father would have declared the Southwest West of his son. He says, I have never met her and I don't think she told members of the Abiola family because the family members I spoke to are furious about this. This woman, I think, is, has an education up to a point. Let us even let us even try. It's a pity. I might have to take one whole hour sometime during the week to analyze this. But very quickly, let us even say that for good reason you wanted to take over the Southwest. Oh, so you think you'll just go to a radio station, have people with and then what do, what did you expect will follow? Who's going to be the president? Who is the CJ? Who is this and who is that? Nothing. You, you know, you just go and say you're speaking on behalf. What who gave you the mandate? If the woman sat next to me for, in a plane from here to Honolulu, I wouldn't even know her. Mm -hmm. And that's supposed to be my Yoruba. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a joke. It is extremely embarrassing. And apparently, they came fairly well prepared in their own minute manner, in their micro managed whatever. They got some uniforms. They got a beret. Some of them have beret. Some of them have caps. Some of them, <laughs> honestly. Anyway, don't let's go. We, we will we will deal with this um, appropriately. Hmm. Maybe by Saturday. Uh, excuse me. I'm surprised that some of them are being defiant. A, a, a 29-year-old phone repairer, Ademola Adeniyi, was defiant, saying he didn't regret his action. Adeniyi said that we all know that nothing is working in Nigeria. Yes, we agree. Hmm? And he says, and things are hard for everyone. To expect those in government. Okay, yes. We were at the Secretariat waiting for a leader to come and address us. Leader waiting for Europe. It's the stupidity of it all that that, yeah. that, that, that that embarrasses me. The Ohio State Commissioner of Police, in case they don't know, and you don't know, has reminded everybody that it is treasonable felony. And it is nothing less than that. It is nothing less than that. Meanwhile, local security outfit, Oluyole, that's their own local Amotekun. Um, you know, they said that they have discovered some hideouts of these agitators. I'm glad that Igboho and uh, Professor. What's his name? What's, what's, a, a king. Uh, professor, what's his name now? And the professor, sir. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad that they have quickly washed their hands off his. But they can see the monsters they have created. That's right. That's right. I was going to say that, actually. They have seen, in fact, they will be embarrassed and afraid that they will be hoping that none of their people is involved in this because they will know no sleep until the authorities get to the end of this. They will know no sleep. Uh, and uh, so we, we, we all need to, be, we need to be extremely careful. The United States government says it is treasonable. The Yoruba Council of Elders has said that the Kupis should be treated, you see, they're already calling them Kupis, they should be treated as, uh, as invaders. They should treat the invaders as Kupis. Okay. Uh, Chief Bodeshaw says it's an act of treason. Um, the defense one says he doesn't regret his actions, and so on and so forth. We, we, we are going to have to do a complete study of this. Let us see if Thursday would be glad, and i get one or two persons for us to look critically at because it's a symptom of something part of the part of the symptom of what it is part of the 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 the, the, the solution to that is domiciled in when you get to risk us you take you take a bus to yaba when you get to yaba you don't turn right you turn left that is part of where the, the answer to this will be domiciled delusion of grandeur i saw the woman making this speech I said to myself, oh, my God, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What exactly is this? Um, <laughs> part of, you see, this also now reflects on the need for us to do a rethink in our society. A very reference to what I'm going to discuss at nine. People don't understand, for example, what is trying to be achieved with the Bobrisky phenomenon. 
the commissioner of, of police in Lagos, I hear had approached the governor to say that the security situation with bad behavior mm. is getting is getting is so bad that 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 they are not sure they might be able to handle it uh, if it goes out of hand. That is what was reflected. If you read the vanguard of of Saturday, I think what did he say? They have gangs of robbers who rape men. Young people, robbers, who rape men was in the vanguard on Saturday. So when I hear people like you about this, this kids of that, I say you, you need to look at the larger picture. There is a lot of bad thinking in the land. People have been completely misguided. Apparently, this set of people have taken the Yoruba nation, the Boho and Co. Well, 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 you know, they were, they were, they were, they've been clamoring for. They thought that they could outsmart them and do a better job. This kind of thinking has to be corrected. It has to be. The government has a lot of work because what maybe one or two lives were lost. We thank God for that. What if by any by any bad chance these people had had uh, access to explosives and things like that? What do you think would have happened? Yeah, yeah. So it's the thinking now that we need the thinking of our people, uh, and therefore those of us who who have this job and people who call in radio, all of us must have a responsibility. We need to change the thinking of our people. This is embarrassing. So, okay, so what, what was expected? After the announcement, what was, what was supposed to I have happen? No, I have no idea. <laughs> it's almost like they were acting Nollywood or something. I thought so. Even Nollywood was a badly acted uh, movie. Yeah. Duma had two flags. She, had, and she announced. What was she thinking? Did she? Like, what, what would have happened? So, some people would just come from nowhere and I say, said, hey, we, 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 uh, have secured the place, Abby. Yes. Oh, yeah, everybody should come in. Oh, yeah, so, Abby. Yoruba land is in Ibadan. In the Secretariat uh, oh, of. <laughs> exactly. Agodi. That's where the headquarters of Yoruba land is. Who put money down for this? For, for this very economy? funny people. They had weapons. They had uniforms. They had camo. They had a lecturer. So th that said, I, I think that uh, much as this is very embarrassing and funny, yes, it also underscores the fact that this may just be a tip of the iceberg as to yes. you know what could happen. What happened? Yes, it could have been worse than this. Yeah. For example, if they had the numbers and if they had more equipment, yeah. only God knows what would have happened. So we also need to be careful to make sure that this is not a representation of a wider group. Mm -hmm. you, you know, um, I expect the authorities to, I expect them to, the DSS will take care of all this. Um, man, do, don't they have a job? Yeah. yeah. Because it won't, this won't be restricted to Yoruba land too, you know. Mm -hmm. And we pick up these things. That's why, you know, I had, I don't know whether I started uh, my programs here. I was the other station when I said that. The way we uh, these um, we now call them former activists or no, what do we call them? And with this Tompolo and you know architectures, architectures, mm. architectures. Sometimes the way you look at these things, you are laying a bad precedent. That's what has brought giving birth to these other ones. Mm. You know, there was a time I think some group it too got some contract from Jonathan in Lagos, and everybody seems to believe that if you agitate well enough, you'll be set to be quote. Because we reward bad behavior. We reward bad behavior. You get Boko Haram people, you say you reform them and put them in the army. Somebody was found at the barracks. Sometimes uh, last week, a woman's lifeless body was found at the barracks. Serious. Oh, yeah. No, Let's no. move on. Let's go to business and economy page. Another interesting story here for today uh, of the Vanguard newspaper, page 20. More pressures on pockets as food inflation rises to 40%. Please, a dilemma. And I mean it, you know, I'm not an economist. I never pretend to be what I'm not. I, I did English. But I want somebody to explain to me how, incidentally, the, the exchange rate is going down and becoming more manageable. But two weeks down the line, it hasn't reflected in the cost of things. The things I need the explanation for is how is this going down? Some, I think uh, a gentleman who ran, who ran for governorship one time in Lagos, Badamasi, he claims that the government has been dipping his hands in the foreign reserves to fund the dollar market. Is it true? Otherwise, where are the inflows coming from that has pushed? And the rate keeps going down. I called...
to ask for a rate. Ah, it's good to have your shoulder back. <laughs> I called to ask for a rate at at uh, five thirty. Okay. By the time I was going to do the transfer, it had gone f down further. Oh. Yes. So it, it's racing down. What is responsible for this? I need a clear explanation before we start rejoicing. And then why is it not? Because it says here, more pressure on pockets and food inflation rises to 40%. High electricity tariff to drive further rise, say analysts. You know, and Nasima, of course, says it is bad for business. And it also they also say that small businesses to lose capital base. So we're, we're, we're in a dilemma that I cannot provide any solution to. We need the experts to come in here to explain to us what exactly is going on, what are or will be the consequences, and how do we guard against something that doesn't look too good that is coming. It's not a matter of doom or whatever, but if you're perceptive and you see these things, your common sense should tell you that you better be careful. You know, my common sense probably is telling me to mop up all the little money that I have and quickly change it and keep it again. Because I'm being told that by whatever is being done, if what is being done is, is, is true from what we hear, then by the time this thing goes back again, it will go over. Well, you know, it's like pouring beer in a glass. If you push it without too much foam, it overflows. So these are questions that I want our experts to answer. They have the forum here. You call us. We give you the chance to come and profile your solution. I wish you were weary. Let's go to the Daily Trust and Sweep on page 8. Darwin College, parental, medical negligence, killed Sylvester Oramoni. Yes, so this is the coroner's report. Pure and simple. The, 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 coroner, the court verdict on Oromoni, Sylvester Oramoni has confirmed that he died due to septicemia, resulting from infections in his lungs and kidneys, originating from an ankle wound. The infections, the infections are originating from an ankle wound, according to an autopsy report. The coroner, Mikhail Kadiri, who presided over the proceedings, disclosed that while explaining the autopsy report at the Ogwa Magistrate Court, popularly called Sammy Lori Court, on one day in Lagos, he says, No evidence of blunt force trauma in this body. The findings in the oesophagus and stomach are not compatible with chemical intoxication. Remember, okay. it was said okay. that these friends apply. Yeah. But I was saying, yeah. They say death in this case is natural. But he now added, and this is very, very crucial, Sylvester's death could have been avoided with proper parental and medical care. I read it somewhere that the dad has disagreed with the uh, coroner's verdict. But that is what we have here. Let's go to the Healthwise Plus page of the Punch newspaper. Yes, yes, I kept up the f I kept up the flag. Oh, yes. On yes. this Healthwise. Imp impressive. Uh, impressive. Kept, up the, kept up the flag. Uh, because it was, he, he, he particularly, he says, listen to this story, oh, it's very, very crucial. Burying corpses near rivers can cause disease outbreak. So some that maybe throw the body in the water to say the gods have whatever, throw the ejaculate, whatever. It can cause disease outbreak with their body. Another thing, blood transfusion before tests may affect genotype results. Mm. Okay, so if you're, if you're going, okay. if you don't know your genotype, type, sorry, let it be known before there's a blood transfusion or else it may affect the results. Lagos and federal government working for waterway safety, says Lassema. This is good to know in the light of various accidents that we have had in recent times. Explosive storage rules explosive storage rules under review after Ibadan explosion. You remember what happened in the case of the explosions? Ah, these people are talking to me. Oh. What's that? What they say? This is as frightened me. Ah. Hey, oh. <laughs> what a dicky love for me. Oh. Listen to this carefully. I'm also guilty. I am extremely guilty. And I hope I don't pay for it. Cardiologists and public health physicians have warned Nigerians against excessive consumption of cold water, or what you call ice water. Don't drink ice water. Drink room temperature. Stressing that it can lead to serious heart conditions and other health problems. 
Ah, uh, I can drink. I still, I still drank a glass at two a.m. this morning. Oh wow! I'm, I, I, I can't drink. I find it so difficult to drink. I don't want. I'm not even law. I don't. I better just watch it. Okay. They say that adults who frequently consume cold water, especially during hot weather, are putting themselves at risk of heart-related health complications. Somebody who has been put into a gun to my head on this issue will be happy to hear this. And that it increases the chances, if you drink cold water, it increases chances of a sore throat and nasal congestion. And that it can lead to the contraction of blood vessels, which in turn disturbs digestion. Ah, you know when you just like fill a whole bottle of um, uh, ass water, you use it to push down like a giri and goat meat. Better, God better be, better be careful. Yeah. Okay, so and it says the experts uh, explain that cold water causes the stomach to contract, making digestion more difficult after eating. I, I, I need to go and study this thing, but this is the last time you are going to see me. With a bottle of water. But what about if you uh, want to drink? Sure? If you, I don't want to die, sincerely. <laughs> you know, the older you get, the, the, the more careful you get. I don't know. What about having drinks? Yeah, I, I think what they're saying is it shouldn't be too much. It shouldn't be too much. Mm. It shouldn't be too much. Okay. Mm. So I'll drink only cold water during lunch. That can work. Uh, during lunch only. During lunch only? Yes. Mm, that can work. I don't know if it depends on what, if you're eating a one do do. Whether or you're eating salad or any of these things, I you know, one, one part there that I kind of like, I don't know, I, it's not that I drink cold water anyway. I'm just saying that I they're saying they're saying that you know, if you drink cold water during hot weather, uh, you have problems. What else can you it's, drink it's during hot, hot weather? weather? It's hot weather. So, what else do you want me to drink? That's what I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I don't I don't take anything cold anyway, so oh, you don't. Ah. Mm -mm. uh, I mean, I, my drinks must either be very cold or very hot. If I'm drinking tea, it will burn my tongue. If I'm drinking uh, 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 whatever. And by the time you mix everything, when it gets there, it will sort itself out. I drink a lot of tea. A lot of tea. In a day, I drink <laughs> four to five cups. Uh, to tea, mm, I drink cool. cold, cold tea. No, hot tea. No, when they when they say Oti Shewon, that means very cold. Like oh, very hot. Cold. Eh, that one Oti, no, we say not Shewon. The two of them are going to prison. Let's go to the metro page now. Let's okay, Eric, let's see. Let's go now. Junior Pope remains of let's pick up artists buried in a quiet bomb. Soldier in custody for allegedly stabbing motorcyclists in Lagos Bar. Testimony backlash. Oh no, these pastors. I don't know. Increasingly, our pastors are. You uh, heard the story. Yes, yeah. uh, you know he. Ran, I saw the video. He ran yeah. her down and said, "How could you be a law graduate?" Now it turns out that she was a law graduate. But I like what he's done. He's uh, he's apologized to her. Um, the famous uh, anti Aduni believes that the whole thing is a scam. It was oh. All, oh yes, the famous anti Aduni who we had here two weeks ago believes that it was a scam and that it's all to get attention. Okay, uh, Lagos resumes demolition of buildings on drainage, netizens kick, uh, SC explosion blamed as fire gods UITH pharmacy. Lagos State News, Minister urges Lagos to showcase equine fishing potential. Lasso Center advocates better motor management. What's that? 76 pedestrians are arraigned for crossing highways. Do not cross the highways, please. Use the pedestrian Crossings, right. We we'll take that of um, the trust. Uh, yeah, that of the trust, which would be concentrate on the north, I think. Two teenage girls drowned in Niger Keno mishap. Uh, three legal tax collectors now for beating drivers conveying palliatives in Benue. Bauchi police intercepts stolen tanker with 35 tons of vegetable oil. Two feared dead as cultists strike in Naikwara. Wiki releases 100 bikes to hard to reach areas. So they have a card in some place in Abuja. What is this? Uh, why military widows deserve support? RCCG. I agree. They deserve support. But what about the personnel themselves? As I speak, my famous uh, team of about four who fought during the Civil War. Last time I checked, they hadn't gotten anything. Oh, last time I checked, they had How does it happen that we keep coming advocating on... Is it that nobody listens? 
Nobody has reacted. We haven't heard somebody, anybody from the authorities write us a letter to say what exactly is going on. It's treated as business as usual. Is this habit that we have that, that accumulates to produce people who, who, who can do that, that so-called invasion on, on, on Saturday? These are a bunch of completely frustrated people. They don't believe anything. One of them said, oh, we were told that uh, my life is going to be better. He said, come, we are in for everything. As the lecturer. But that is what suffer helps us. It takes the thinking out of the brain. Yeah. Why is your thinking totally? This is the territory in the trust. The territory in the trust, Africans must learn from Senegal's polls. We don't have much time, so let me read one or two paragraphs. Um, we believe, this is the daily trust, say that we believe that ordinary citizens, listen to this very well, ordinary citizens hold the key to the success of democracy in Africa if only they can unite and call off the ploy of politicians to use religion and tribe to grab power. The Senegalese have shown the way. Hmm. Otherwise, under normal circumstances, I don't think that man, the 44-year-old, would have made president, but they were resolute. And they said that we hope other African leaders will take lessons from what happened to ex-president Sall and begin to respect the tenets of democracy. Under no circumstances should any leader feel that he alone can rule his country or he alone has a magic wand to improve the lot of the nation. Can I take one more paragraph? We have to go now. We have to go. I, from you, I, I know you, uh, from the way you are looking. <laughs> and you are not even looking at me, but what did he, what, okay. this man, he needs to stop and just let us go. I will let you go. I'll be back at nine. Yes, nine, nine, Daily Digest will be back. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. Because that's our show. Um, Kofi is back at the uh, top of the hour with the, with the news and the rest of the morning crossfire. Stay here, please. Is your heart racing because your MTN line is blocked? You can't make calls. You can't receive. 99.5.